It is now time for the inevitable. Fortunately, we have dimmable lights because my eye is going to be very sensitive when I pull this off. Eye drops I have need to be put in four times a day. I kind of missed uh, one of the times that I could have done it today. Wow, this is some strong adhesive. Ah, oh, right on my eyelid. Why did I do that? do this differently this time. Come on. Come on, let's get it over with. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh, the nose. Ah. Well, there's my eye. Nice and red. My vision is still pretty good. Not perfect. You know those charts with the letters that you do eye tests on? I had a two line difference between what I could see in my left eye and what I could see in my right eye. And that was only after blinking several times before it was like a four line difference. I think what I want to do is that they put a the yellow dye in my eye so they could detect the scratch in the cornea. I wonder if I'm going to have a permanent lazy eye after this. So I'm going to attempt to rinse that out. Oh, it's going to hurt. My nose is running like you say, Bolt. I'm looking forward to this. Ah. <sighs> Ah, ah. <laughs> this is the closest I've gotten to crying in a decade. So much pent up emotion, it's all gonna come out now. Okay, where are the eye drops? I wish I could tell if I had any eyelashes in here, but I won't dare turn the lights up any higher than they already are. Sure feels like I do. Oh, this is gonna suck. Gonna need another paper towel at the ready. I think I missed. For some reason it feels better. I don't understand what's in this. That was quick. I think I got two in there. All right, that's it. Now I just have to do that like 27 more times. Getting loaded up, look at those shiny rims. All right, Marilyn, that's gonna be the steepest hill you'll ever have to climb. You got this, use those new tires. Yeah, girl. See you later. Eye update. Oh, it is so hard for me to keep my eyes open. They're so tired from all this trauma. Driving back home, I was literally doing this so I, I could keep going without crashing. Uh, I said patches is not the way to go with tree injuries. Instead, they gave me a, there's a contact lens in there now. It's like a band-aid contact lens. A different type of eye drop prescribed to me. Yeah, I need to rest my eyes. This is brutal. There's a possibility it'll be a reoccurring tear. Like it'll break open in the future and then they use stem cells, I guess, to repair it. I don't know, but that's a small possibility. I never knew all these crazy LED purchases would pay off. Someday I can just make it as dim or as bright as I want. All my lights at this point, every single one is adjustable fully with Bluetooth, whether it's this remote for the tall ones or my phone for the light bulbs. It's fantastic. Oh, I look horrible. To pass the time today, I'm starting a second barn dominium design. One that actually looks like a barn with those crisscross doors. Excellent. I've got my curtain down, none of my lights are on, and I got sunglasses on. I can't wait for my eyes to get stronger. This is ridiculous. First time sledding down the big hill in years. And I would say first time sledding at all in years, but I've already done a little bit of sledding. Time for the big hill. Woo! <laughs> I'm a child. Got it back again. It's been like a week, I think. I don't know, whatever the timestamp said. 
I had an oxygen sensor issue that had to get replaced. And the horrible noise I'm hearing is actually a rubber part of one of the engine mounts has fallen out, so it's just metal. So anytime you shift or accelerate, whatever, it, it twists the engine just a little bit and it's just rattling off the metal parts. Three to five weeks to get the part. It's getting shipped from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> So as long as I shift lightly, and uh, of course in green mode, it'll turn the car off automatically when I'm at a stop, then uh, I should be fine. Yeah, hopefully I can find a different job besides door dashing by the end of the month. I applied to a place, uh, I'd be a, a tour manager for tourism, not band stuff, but like different places around the country, around the world. That'd be pretty cool. I've got no commitments. They can send me wherever they want me to. That's a uh, number one priority right now. That's the most ideal situation. All the repairs that I've done on this car since the beginning of the year, $4,300 roughly. Kelly Blue Book says my car, where it is with its mileage and all that, says it's worth $5,100 and I still owe $5,200 on the car. Ah, uh, is it even worth it anymore? I can't wait to switch to leasing. So much stress will go away. So yeah, take it out. Hope I don't curb these nice new rims. They're still shining. Get back on that DoorDash grind. Hello internet. It is time for another jet ski exclusive unboxing video. Roll it. This is technically the last of my Christmas gifts. It was a request. I did not receive it, but I did receive a check for the same value. So I bought it anyways. Turbo tube. It's a small portable car vacuum. This is not actually the turbo tube, even though that's the website I bought it from. It looks like maybe it was rebranded. So that's not a great beginning to all this. Stage two. First up, we got the charging cable and a handy dandy little storage bag. Got one of the mounts. Has the brush on it. Never mind, that is not a charging cable, that is the back side of the tube itself. In here is the actual cable. Very tiny, but that's all you need sometimes, really. We've got the main event here. It's got this brush that can go to the front, and looks like you press the button and retracts, and then it's a solid tip. Nice. Next up is the turbo tube itself. Or should I say, not a turbo tube. Voila. I wonder if they left some juice in it. Not actual juice. They have this crescent shaped piece of plastic on the tape to keep the switch from being activated. Let's see if it's got some juice. That's violent. Up at the top here, behind the lid, we have the chamber. It is very small, but sometimes that's all you need in a car, just a few specks of dust here and there. This is ideally for quick cleanups. And as a little bonus, there's some strange stickers in here as well. Let's uh, do the face test, which I unofficially just came up with. I got a pretty flappy face, as you can tell from this skydiving video from long ago. It's got suction, all right. Nice. Now let's test it in the car. That cam. Today just so happens to be the coldest day of the year yet, so I'm gonna make this very brief. see my mount set up it was this big clip and I couldn't actually clip it on the vacuum cleaner so it was very much in the way so it very quickly went from vac cam to being handheld but anyways it does its job it's uh, clean not as well as I would have thought there are places it can't get like down in there but that's what the tube is for you blow the air in there and that'll push it out somewhere else I guess six out of ten would recommend it's pretty steep but I'm a bit underwhelmed